Hi, Tom Barnes here, Fed again in 2016 with Fedeca News. We are here with Drew from Phase 1 and we're going to talk about the new IQ 100 megapixel back. Drew, how you doing? Good, and yourself? Not too bad, thank you, not too bad. So run us through the new back. So the IQ 1 100 is uh, basically the, the exact same chip that's in our IQ 3 100 we launched in January. Mm -hmm. um, the IQ 1 is, you know, the base uh, IQ version. We released it years and years ago. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. So it's still a solid and stable platform that we've just kind of crammed the 100 chip into. So same same uh, image quality that you get with the IQ3100, but it's just in the uh, more limited uh, features of the IQ1. So basically you stripped out basically some of the features from the IQ3, so it doesn't have Wi-Fi, no yeah, HDMI. It's not that we stripped anything out, I mean, the, the, we right. just didn't add them in because it's the IQ1 platform, is, cool. is basically just the bare bones, so it's, right. it's older technology that we've just kind of put in the new chip. But it's still the 16-bit, still the 15 stops 16 dynamic bit, range? Yep, absolutely. Anything that you get from the chip, you still get in the IQ1 uh, 100. Okay. Yep. And what sort of file size are we kind of expecting from this? So at 16-bit, uh, when you process it out, it's going to be, you know, 300 uh, megs, but mm -hmm. the raw file is about 130 megs, okay. but then you have the option to put it into a 14-bit, where it's a flat 100 meg raw file. Then you can even go to a, a lossy compressed uh, version, which is the IIQ Smart, mm -hmm. and that's somewhere around 50 meg raw. You still get 14-bit, you still get great image quality, but it is a, a different kind of compression so that you can actually you know, fit more on the card if you need to. Okay, cool. And then as well as the back, you've released two lenses? Yeah, two new lenses. So the 45 millimeter f3.5, mm -hmm. it's a completely new optical design uh, from the ground up. Uh, that's why it's quite large, um, but it is a, a completely flat field uh, focusing plane. Um, it is sharp edge to edge, nearly distortion free. Mm -hmm. So it kind of comes in behind our 35 millimeter wide angle, which again is a one we released uh, last year. That uh, was a new optical design, but it has you know more of a uh, landscape design to it. So this okay. one, this one's more like a technically designed lens, perfectly flat, edge to edge, zero distortion almost. Okay. Uh, then we also released the 150 f 2.8 leaf shutter mm -hmm. lens. So it's also a beast. Uh, it's, yeah, is this uh, this is an LS lens as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the blue ring lenses are LS. All S. Yep. Oh, okay, right. Okay. So the uh, the 150, which is in the cupboard, mm -hmm. um, it's a 2.8 LS. Uh, it's the biggest piece of glass we've ever manufactured. It's pretty big. Yep. So we we really just just wanted, you know, a, a portrait lens that uh, really fits the quality of the blue ring lenses that mm -hmm. we've been, you know, releasing. Is it a challenge to create lenses that resolve up to 100 megapixels? Well, it's not resolving them up to 100 megapixels. It's resolving them well into the future. We right. all know the digital game always keeps changing and mm -hmm. resolution keeps going and going and going. So we have to design these lenses so that they're going to stick around forever. Okay. The, the XF is a you know future-proof design where we keep adding new features so mm -hmm. that it grows with you. You invest in it, and the camera just keeps getting better. The same thing with the lenses. We have to you know build these lenses so they will continue to serve you well into the future. And we also saw in a demo uh, the other day that the, there's now a pro photo trigger. Building. Yeah, so uh, that demo is uh, on the Pro Photo stand. We can't talk too much about it. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's still in pre-release. Okay. Uh, we'll have uh, some more news in a, in a couple of weeks. But the XF camera system has a Pro Photo, uh, full Pro Photo uh, air trigger built into it. Okay, right. With the previous versions of the firmware, you could just trigger a Pro Photo air sync. Um, but now but on the now screen. there's uh, some more features in there that we've tapped into. Okay. Yeah, as a phase and Brevet user, that's going to be quite exciting. Yeah, yeah. So. So when it comes to release dates um, and pricing, how does this kind of work out for us? So the IQ1 100 is shipping this month. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, a few that we've built for the trade show, and there's just, you know, the guys are back in Denmark just plugging away. Um, so that'll ship very, very soon. Um, the lenses are ready and shipping now. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, future uh, future features and stuff, will, we can't really talk about when they're going to come out, but it's not going to be very long. Okay. Uh, okay. When it comes to pricings, you know, we have a network of global uh, area sales managers yeah. and uh, partners all over, and they're the ones that can get you pricing. We also have trade-in pricing and everything, so, you know, people can move from their older Phase 1 digital backs, which are, there's thousands of them out there that are still plugging away, mm -hmm. but if they want to move into the XF system and the IQ1s, they can trade those in and... Yeah, it's interesting you mentioned about the the, um, the age of the backs because you guys do stress testing quite unlike yeah. any other company. Right. Yeah. If anyone doesn't know, you guys freeze the backs, you, you basically give them hell. Yes. You still do that with the IQ yeah, series? Absolutely. And... Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, yeah. Look, look it up, it's pretty cool. No, I mean, we, we always build our kit, that's why it's you know heavy and robust and it looks a little mean because it's a tool for professionals, so mm -hmm. it has to last and it has to last you forever. The, uh, the IQ, the, the P plus digital backs, there's still thousands of them out there that are working strong. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's getting people into the new system. That's why we have the upgrade tier pricing so they can join the family of the new XF camera system and benefit from everything else we're building for it. Brilliant. And then pricing on the uh, the IQ1, I know you can't you can't say, but it is going to be less, obviously, than the IQ3. Yeah, it is less IQ3. because it is, you know, the, the older technology, the baseline digital yeah. back. Again, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So we're just, you know, putting the, the new chip in there so people have access to it at a cheaper price point uh, with a few less features. Brilliant.
Thanks, Drew. Appreciate hey, it. My pleasure.